Thank you for the presentation. Thank you for the invitation. And I am glad to, to, to contribute to this uh, debate. And so I'm going to show uh, three uh, recent projects I've done, uh, one of from 2012 and two from this year. Um, <coughs> so um, choose I have chosen because of the, mm, so the, the theme of the symposium, of course. Uh, as uh, was mentioned already, uh, I work with different medias, but maybe it's uh, important also to know that I started my uh, education as a painter, or I ca I'm coming from the painting actually, as the most of, uh, because of the traditional education in Bulgaria. I studied painting at the Academy in Sofia, then I moved to Vienna and studied uh, art and photography, and started also to work with, uh, with video. So through uh, my education, I was moving uh, constantly through different medias, but not only through the medias, only uh, also moving through the geography. So it's in a, also it's interesting because I have the last presentation, I can uh, refer to the presentations before uh, that, uh, so I was, uh, I grew up in Bulgaria, so I was living there until 21, and then I moved to Vienna, and so I'm there for the last 13 years and moving now backwards. Uh, between the mostly between uh, Vienna and Sofia, so this became part of my, uh, my of my life. So this constant movement, and this also I tried to. This also, of course, my work. Um, so the the in between, let's say. Uh, okay, so the project, the first project I'm going to show, uh, I made as an artist in residence in Los, Ange Los Angeles. Uh, it's um, Max Schindler scholarship. It's a stipend from uh, the University of um, Museum of Applied Arts in, in Vienna. And what is the interest in this uh, residency that uh, <coughs> also the artists are living in uh, one of the Schindler houses. So it's uh, literally, so you're living in a museum. So we're like, you're living in another piece of art. So this was very interesting to me to work with and yeah, to think about it. The project I realized is called uh, of tomato products. Uh, and <coughs> so what I'm showing right now is a PDF, which is kind of the final of this project because uh, I made a book just, uh, I finished just two months uh, ago. And so this is the PDF of the book, which happened one year after the project. So uh, to start this project, I was interested uh, in the idea of uh, uh, artists in residence, uh, spending uh, like six months in a different place and the place was a kind of a museum and working uh, on a long term project. So my idea was <coughs> to produce uh, a tomato soup and but to take the whole production. So I started from the seeds uh, which are imported and uh, I grow the, the plants, the tomatoes. But the idea was also uh, in this process of uh, natural process of growing that the art work also is gr grows. So um, I had a lot of time to reflect on what was happening. Um, yeah. So you see, it's also, uh, I used the photo camera to, let's say, to document, but these are not the documentational images, but are images. So I see also this project very much connected to the painting. Uh, the first, the cover of the book is uh, a dirty canvas because you see uh, after on the pages, I grow the tomato in pots made of uh, canvases which were one foot, which is also the size of the book. So one foot because I reflected to this uh, digital gathering, uh, like uh, no, uh, farm wheel, where you start with this unit, like one foot. So this is the, the white canvas or the starting point is one foot. Um, yeah, uh, all of the images uh, as in the book, I don't see it as a photography, but as an images. And so you can see that everything is arranged there. So this is in the uh, yard of the Schindler house, which is usually um, empty and I built this construction in order to, to have my space. Uh, and to define it was something between uh, um, artistic installation and a greenhouse, let's call it like this. And I was describing it this, uh, as a hybrid of an uh, artistic studio and a garden, just to mention the context. So these are the pots and yeah. Then I started to build the frames, to put the canvases, to paint. This is on the roof of the house where we can see this uh, versus of uh, 
the palm trees and the tomato plant. Yeah. So the working process. And this is the house, yeah. This was behind the stage. And so you can see even the car uh, was the selection of which car I'm going to buy was con very much uh, uh, yeah, um, a logical decision uh, in terms of aesthetic. Even I have a lot of problems with the car, but for this image, so I'm happy. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, most of the images reflects on, uh, but I will just leave it open that because everybody can read through the art history to what the images are reflecting on. And <laughs> so then I decided to make, so the sort of the Bulgarian sort, uh, the seeds were called giant because of this, so I work, like the idea of giant in the United States and to work with this uh, idea of the pop art. So I made this inflatable, actually, and I put it on the top of the garden to make it visible what is going on uh, behind the hedge. So this, yeah. And so you can see the walls are made out of canvases again, and so this was, uh, uh, I reflected on a Schindler house in King's Road where he made also, uh, part of the walls were made out of canvases. Uh, it was very much influenced by the uh, Japanese architecture. And yeah, this is how it looks like. And every, so we see the logo of the museum, even the sheets and everything was with the logo. So it's, yeah, living in the museum. So this was what's, what was going on. And so, um, so it's the called uh, Spianov's Tomato products. I made different products like, uh, yeah, the book was one of the final products, but there's a photography, there's a, uh, the canvas, which I defined then as a painting. There is a, um, also a cooking and presentation video at the end. There is also a song I've produced, which reflects on the LA hip hop. So this is the text uh, of the song. And so in the book, uh, at the end you have the CD also with the song. Um, yeah, this was the final <coughs> construction where this presentational and cooking video happened. And this is from uh, from the process of of the presentational video, uh, where I, I was ex I was explaining the piece and yeah, everything, so that you can see that I refer to the I the idea and the concept and see to one thing, then I move to the ready-made and to the choice and things like that. So this uh, this was the label. Uh, which I produced, and you have the f one of the final products. And so it is a, uh, the end is edition of uh, 25. Um, yeah. uh, another, uh, f of course, another reference was the work of uh, Andy Warhol uh, and the uh, soup. So, but I was interested exactly in the opposite, in the process of production and not in the process of representation. Mm. And so there was also one t uh, talk between me and one uh, curator from Sofia. And theoretician, I just am going to read just some sentences to have uh, also different kind of view to the pros pro um, project. Do you think? Uh, do you think that the project could unfold in a different way and in at a different place? What is the importance of the location? No, in this lo constellation, it has to the, its strongest meaning here. Andy Warhol showed the Campbell soups for the first time here in West Hollywood. What do those soups have to do with your project? The soup is uh, itself an art. It is a liquid painting. Yes, but you are talking about Warhol soups, and they are something different. Yes, they are hard soups. I'm doing the opposite. I'm confused now. What is the opposite? Liquid painting is quite the opposite of the hard soup. <laughs> but still the question remains, how are, you, how are you going to achieve them in your, your liquid paintings? I think that now the time has come to describe the project itself, please. So I've invited her because I knew that uh, the way how she w she is thinking and she is asking, and I was interested in this uh, kind of let's say the conflict that the uh, theoretician is trying to theorize and the artist like, yeah, 
place with it. So it's also based on one interview Andy Warhol was giving and he was answering also with uh, only with yes and no. Mm. Yeah, I think that's enough. Mm. How are we with the time? Ten minutes are great. <laughs> so and so this is just to show an installation shot. I was I, I showed the project in an exhibition in Sofia, for example. Then we have the photographies, the glass and the this video. Mm. And so with the paintings, as I call them. Yeah. And so then I made also there are like five ep episodes, like this one, the first episode of the artist gardener, because she was asking me in this interview, do you consider us yourself as a sculpture in this project? And I answered, no, I consider myself more uh, as an artist gardener. And this is to so made five episodes of. Uh, uh, yeah, in the first one episode in which the artist gardener pick, pick, pick with the tomatoes, for example. Um, then you can see the starting of. Yeah, just to show you, it's a very ordinary video. Or uh, the second episode, and this was interesting one, where I was putting the pots on the roof which was actually not allowed because they were very restrictive there in the, in the house but so maybe they one day they're going to see it mm. yeah. Again, you can see here that the idea of the action and the composition goes together. But these are two things. Yeah, you can see that my work is also full with uh, irony and humor. It was the second episode called yeah, gets the plants from the roof of the Schindler house where they shouldn't be at all. Mm, um, or this was just the fourth episode in which the artist gardener makes a rehearsal for the cooking and presentation show of the Stuyano special tomato product. There's a video called like this, but it's just the trial. Mm, just to show Hi you some seconds. Hi uh, guys, I'm going to show you how to prepare, how to cook the minimal artistic tomato soup, yeah? So you see, uh, we are here in front. Yeah, it goes like this. Let's go to the next project, which is um, called New Piece of Art. This project uh, I made 2013, it was made uh, in the frame of the of a festival for an uh, op art and open space in Sofia, Sofia Contemporary. And it was, was not actually my main project, but uh, it's, I had to do it because I had the difficulties with the main project, which happened in the end, but so this was like the plan B, I developed this project, which I was happy, happy at the end. Uh, it is also connected to the painting and the sculpture. So you see, uh, I found this uh, abundant billboard is very close to the area of Sofia Airport, where I developed also some other projects. And in this work, I'm painting in this uh, in black. 
and yeah, mm. I was painting for one hour, and at the evening uh, there were like program with artist talks, and the artist talk should be actually in a in a in a cafe in the center, but I put it my artist talk uh, outside in the fields, and so uh, it was then the opening of the new piece of art where I was giving a speech about it. But from the position, uh, uh, if I'm somebody from the municipality or a curator, not from the artistic position. And let me it was actually a very good experience for me, and <coughs> because of the, this wind, so the piece was very, uh, also m moved. Also, the canvas was moving, and yeah, it became uh, really uh, action painting so you I can show you yeah like this are was the best moments at the end I, after the festival I took the banner uh, from the construction and yeah so in future exhibition, I'm going to show it the whole banner with the speech, uh, yeah, like two uh, elements of the work. So you can see that. So it was a moment that I couldn't reach the top, so then I decided to, yeah, to make the tree painting. So this was just two, two hours later. <laughs> and so the most of these guys were first time in these fields. Good evening to everybody. I'm very happy to, uh, to talk to you this tonight, to open the new piece uh, as part of our festival. So uh, we have chosen this location because, as you see, it's uh, very interesting. and. Also, close to the airport, so we can welcome our guests uh, and also say goodbye to them. <laughs> so this piece uh, took us uh, uh, a long time to realize. It's, uh, it combines uh, different uh, techniques. You know, it can be seen as a painting, also sculptural piece. Uh, so our festival is uh, for art and public space. Yeah, okay, and so it's like five minutes speech. And how many minutes do I have still? Two. Okay, just to show the last project from uh, September this year. It's called Noise Trial. And it was an year in action I did. Uh, and I don't know if you're uh, familiar, but so in Sofia there are protests going on in the last three months, like 170 days already. And so I was very, very much uh, interested and engaged. And also, before I moved to Vienna, it was the same uh, process of protest. I was very active, and then I moved uh, to Vienna. And now, again, 10 years after, uh, similar protests are starting. So this was evoked my interest a lot. And uh, so I made a piece which reacted on this. Yeah. Because this is a whistle, a large whistle I've produced and try to m m make a noise of, with it. So this, the whistle is a um, device that is used a lot from the protest. So this is the gesture of the Hippocratic gesture of expressing, uh, yeah. But, but also, uh, so you can see uh, I was driving uh, uh, on the highway and so, because it starts to produce a noise if you drive over 100 kilometers. And so I drove the piece from a city close to Sofia to the gallery where we're exhibited.
So in this is exactly the government house in the one of the house of the parliament I was passing by. And so the gallery was just 200 meters uh, on the right side. So because of this, I gave this sign of making a noise there. And it was interesting that the prime minister visited the gallery you know, like months after for another opening, and so the protester uh, stuck him. So he was staying in the gallery for half an hour. But unfortunately, I was not there. So this was my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Carmen. Questions, please? <laughs> Michael? Just a very brief question. What's the taste of your tomato product? The taste? Yes. I, I didn't taste it really, so I... But my friend, I, so I had a friend there, he tasted it. He said it's good. But for me, it was clear that it's, I'm not going to eat it because, yeah. And it was also the first time I was making tomato soup. Um, in one of the pictures of the tomato soup project yeah. at the uh, Spindler House in, in Los Angeles, there was in, in the notes you took, there was in the lower half it said emotion. And what what, what, which one? The tomato soup project, th th there was a dis one of the images. Text like not tech, but presentations of the process where you had like notes. Ah yes, on the yeah. Wall. This was part of the video. So in the video, I was talking and to, uh, writing on the canvas. Yeah. yeah, and then and then there was among the words um, was emotion. And I mean, clearly you said it. Your work brings up the question of affect or emotion, um, and and connecting that to Anahitas, you know, where she said, so what's the moment of when does a work become? coin political. Now in her case, it was also how the art space, like the Freeze Art Fair, is making itself political by claiming its radicality, by showing something supposedly forbidden. Um, but here, I'm just wondering, since uh, this isn't the only way of, uh, the, the only one of your work where you deploy humor or irony or, um, um, I was wondering, in the last work, it, you said it's part, you, you wanted to clearly, sort of partake again in the protests in Sofia, so you could say it's political. Do you think there's one of the emotions or affects that is the strongest in the political work? Do you think humor is that? It's a stupid question, but um, I'm just curious what, you know. Probably, yeah. Probably I think that it's, it's one good uh, uh, tool. As a, you mean as a political uh, yeah. gesture? I think, uh, and I had the feeling because it was interesting for me to do this because in this protest also many artists and um, people from the theater and from the university are part in it and so it became, they developed many performances and different kind of visual uh, signs which make the protest uh, interesting so it was also important for this yeah. in order I mean, to, yeah. and for I think it, uh, I was happy that I could put this piece in a gallery, which, w which is the Sofia City Gallery. And when I asked, I also was not sure if they would say yes, because the government is also very much trying to avoid it. So you see that even making an art word which refers to this was, was not a direct, but also it's a kind of a poetic work. And if you don't see it in the context of a protest, could work also fine. No, I, I do think laughter is a very yeah. enabling. Yeah, but uh, tool. the the fact that it was in this uh, in the institution uh, makes uh, a strong political statement, I think, because the people have have to look in this art piece because people go there and they look at it. Smooth. And yeah. so this is what uh, artists are showing it in the institution. It's different uh, as if you do uh, a political protest on the street. I don't know if you, if you mentioned it, but how long did the process take from, from planting to harvesting to making the, the tomato product? How long did it take? How long was the process? Five and a half months. Five and a half months. Yeah. yeah. So I was very much also afraid because 
I didn't try it never before and didn't know it which is going to work. So the first three months were really hard because the plants are not really growing fast and you don't know what is going to happen there. Yeah. How did the soup taste? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, okay. So I, I didn't try it, so a friend of mine. And actually, so when I was, uh, this just to show you a very short, it was the last episode. You can see my friend. We, both of them were eating the last. <laughs> so this was, too short before, uh, before I left uh, Los Angeles and I have to bring all my stuff to his studio and so I, as you see here, I put out canvases. And so we are eating here the last two tomatoes. This has also, um, because there is a, a novel of a Bulgarian, uh, contemporary Bulgarian writer who, who was uh, uh, writing about, uh, about the Bulgarian tomato and immigrants in America, Bulgarian immigrants meeting uh, together and eating the tomato. And so this also is kind of a reflection and started to think about and crying about, yeah. I'm sorry, please wait. Where's the mic? Oh, okay. Did she see you? No, she didn't. Here, your sock. Thank you. Why do you choose tomato? Um, yeah, because of many reasons. One of the reasons is, uh, was reading this book on, and also thinking for a long time. It was also like every summer going to Bulgaria, it was also an emotion to eating this, these tomatoes because yeah, it's a really good, it tastes good. And so I w long time I were thinking to make a project and then I developed the idea of to make, to connect this with, with the tomato soup, uh, with the uh, residence in Los Angeles. So this was uh, an idea which were going in my head for a long time. And because uh, it's a project that you can work on it for s six months, yeah. Like that many layers. Um, I just wanted to ask you about the necessity of this like opening ceremony after some works you did. Could you tell about like tell about a bit more about that? Um, because uh, uh, it was in the fields, very much in the periphery, and the idea was to bring these people. It was really hard to fight to move my uh, to, uh, artistic talk from the this cafe in the center to the airport. So. This is the answer of the question. And so I was also interested in uh, the game of declaring something to an art piece and to bring this into words. There is another question. Yeah, but I did not see it. And then not, and you. Okay. I'm very much curious about the song you did for this project. Can you listen to that? Uh, I have brought some books, maybe I have brought like eight books, I'm happy, if, yeah, if I don't have to bring them back to Vienna, so, but. Did you understand? <laughs> yeah, the song, the song is in the book, the song is in the book, you know. Yeah, if you're interested, you can buy the book, it's for 25 <laughs> francs, and you can listen to the song. You know, as an artist, I also have to make the self-management uh, very often. And yeah. <laughs> I'm following up the question before the last. Um, so I totally get why you wanted to bring the people to the periphery, so-called periphery, or the news centers, the airport, but you didn't do an artist talk, you gave a speech, you said. I was curious, what did you talk about? And wasn't the artist talk meant to be a dialogue? And what happened to the person who was going, meant to be there to talk to you? There, there was not a person that I meant to be talked with in my case because I changed it in the process. And so I did 
said I'm going to do a um, performance out of it. And I, were, I was talking about the piece. Yeah. One last question. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Come. Thank you.